charge! There go our robots, and it's the usual in our tournaments. Three red robots across. Iron Patriots, a little bit of a low, slow start, but they move into position. Let's see if they get a shot off this time. No, and it'll be 30 to 20 once again in favor of red. 30 to 22 make that as the teleoperated period begins. 44-69, Raid gonna try to find the high goal for the Red Alliance. No good, error code zero does find the low goal. And both alliances now back to work on the outer works. 41-31, the Iron Patriots, they've been hassling Raid all series long. They're back at it again as Swag finds the low goal for Blue. Chargers back in the red courtyard to play defense. Iron Patriots doing the same for Blue. Raid goes up and good in the side goal and it's now 44 to 29 in favor of the Red Alliance. Swag with a boulder and they go up and over the Cheval de Freeze. Tread up and over the rock wall. And the Blue Alliance well on their way to a breach. Red Alliance working on it as well as error code zero handles the Cheval de Freeze. 44-69 Raid takes on the Ramparts and error code zero finds the low goal. No good for Raid. Iron Patriots with their stalwart defense, and they will try to keep that scoring under control. Just a 15 point, now a 10 point lead for Red. Swag back into the courtyard. They're handling breaching duties for the Blue Alliance at the moment. Two boulders blocking the Blue Alliance outer works. Those are now clear thanks to 1425. And Tread and the Chargers tussling. Gotta be careful putting a robot on its back. We know what results from that. And Tread now trying to find the whole goal, high goal, no good. We're under a minute remaining, and as the Red Alliance completes their breach, they open up a 40-point lead. Blue Alliance just one crossing left. Raid finds the high goal, error code zero, the low goal. And Iron Patriots doing their best, but those two robots may just be too much for 41-31. Tread is sitting on top of the drawbridge. They go back through, we'll see if a crossing is awarded there. Red Alliance needs, or excuse me, Blue Alliance needs to get under that low bar one more time to get the 20 point breach bonus. As Raid goes high and takes one more level of strength off the Blue Tower, it may all be academic at this point as the Red Alliance has opened up a commanding 47 point lead. They have weakened the tower completely and are set to capture. 1425 goes up in the air. Two Blue Alliance robots trying to scale. Tread lifts, but cannot get high enough. And we'll let the final results come together, but we will have your winners in just a few moments. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Final scores in for the tiebreaker in the Auburn event finals. Red Alliance putting themselves in a tough position after finals match number one with those red cards. They needed to win two matches in a row, pulled out finals match number two. And with an absolutely dominating performance here in match number three, your Auburn event district champions are your Red Alliance! Congratulations to our victors. Alliance Capital Team 4469 and their partners 1425 and 3786. And please join us in congratulating your finalist alliance, led by Captains Team 4131 and their alliance partners, the home team 3219 and Team 4060. An outstanding performance by both alliances in the finals and an event we will not forget anytime soon. Business not all done here. We've still got to pull down this field and give out some hardware. The award ceremony is coming up next, so stay put, and we'll see who goes home with the trophies. 